Prince Harry praised for avoiding unthinkable with book move to spare royals. Prince Harry's decision about spare has been praised for avoiding the unthinkable with an action that could severely damage the royals, an expert claims. Speaking on Kinsey Schofield Unfiltered, Vanity Fair's Katie Nichol described the potential ramifications of what would have happened if the Duke of Sussex had sold the movie rights to his explosive memoir Spare. She said that while Harry would have made a lot of money from the sale of the rights, it could have caused even more damage to his relationship with his family. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Katie explained, it is probably one of the best, most sensible decisions Prince Harry has made, to hold on and retain those movie rights because, had he sold them, and he would probably have got a huge amount of money for doing so, he's lost total control. She added, if anybody was able to make a film version of that, it doesn't really even bear thinking about to be honest. I think it goes far beyond how Meghan might be portrayed, how Diana might be portrayed. Imagine the huge potential for even more damage to be done between his relationship, between him and his stepmother Camilla, between him and his father, between him and his brother. You only need to look at something like the crown to see how much something that close to the bone can upset the royal family. For something to be turned into a movie based on Harry's own words has the potentially for a huge amount of controversy, possibly a great deal of litigation. While Harry is reportedly holding on tight to Spare's movie rights, there is also speculation over whether the Duke of Sussex could make a shock return to the UK. Insiders have claimed that Harry is anxiously planning a month-long visit to the country as the feud between him and Prince William continues. A source told Closer that this could be part of a strategy by Harry to improve relations with senior members of the royal family. They suggested, Harry is going to have to return to the UK solo as it makes sense for him to take a longer trip. He's convinced that if he spends a longer period of time there, he'll have a better chance to reconnect with his family. The insider also said that while Harry has a wish to return home, Meghan is worried that she will be heckled by members of the British public. She has also reportedly expressed concern about security if she travels to the UK in 2027 for the Invictus Games. Founder and director of Atticism told The Express, Meghan's safety concerns in the UK are debatable, while she may not be universally liked, it is unclear if this translates to actual personal danger. As her PR agent, I would advise her to attend the Invictus Games if she has any hopes of mending her reputation in the UK. If reputation repair is not a priority for her, then her absence might be more practical. Currently, she is often perceived as seeking the limelight rather than being a supportive partner. By attending and allowing Harry to be the primary focus, she could shift this narrative significantly. Prince Harry was issued a major warning over his UK return for the Invictus Games in 2027 as the Duke is faced with a huge dilemma over whether he should bring his children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, back or not. The Duke of Sussex's passion project is set to be held in his home country for the first time since 2014, after Birmingham won the bid to host the event in a competition against US finalist Washington DC. July 2027 will see the Games taking place at the National Exhibition Center, NEC, and featuring three new sports pickleball, laser run and esports. The latest updates have raised questions over whether Harry will be bringing his family back to the UK for the major event, as the last time they all travelled together was in 2022 for the late Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Now a PR expert suggested that the Invictus Games in 2027 would be a strategic opportunity for Prince Harry to bring Archie and Lilibet to the UK, however, if he chooses to do so, he should approach the situation with great caution. Renee Smith, founder and director of The Atticism, told Express.co.uk, the Invictus Games in 2027 could indeed be a strategic opportunity for Prince Harry to bring his children to the UK. Given that they haven't visited since 2022, their presence could symbolize a gesture of goodwill and a desire to reconnect with his roots. 
This move could generate positive publicity, highlighting the importance of family unity and the continuation of his charitable efforts in the UK. Ms Smith cautioned the Duke to handle such a scenario delicately and exaggerating his children's appearance or family dynamic could have a negative impact on his popularity.